I'm Dr. Charles Severance. I'm the founder of the Tsugi Project, and this is my Tsugi update. And I'm coming to you from my racing garage. This is my racing car. It's a 1999 Dodge Neon RT. It's got stickers all over it, like good cars do. It's got Tsugi and Sakai and Learning Experiences and Coursera, many stickers. It's got all kinds of things. And um, I race in a racing series called the 24 Hours of Lemons. Uh, the best way to explain it is to say that the 24 Hours of Le Mans is a 24 hour endurance race that is the single most prestigious race on the planet. The 24 Hours of Lemons is a 24 hour endurance race that strives to be the least prestigious race on the planet. So, the goal is to have fun. So, I drive this car along with three, four, five other drivers. We drive for 24 hours. We try to keep it running for our goals, given that these are supposed to be $500 cars that cost a little more than that. Our goal is to keep it running for 24 hours, not so much to win. If we, if we actually finished a few races after 24 hours, we would then maybe think about going fast enough to winning. But for now, we just got to keep it working. And so this car, this is what we have two of them, two not identically prepared. This is called Neon 2. And uh, it, it is our second car when our first car breaks down and put Neon 2 into service. So it's our backup car. But strangely, it's the one with the most dents. So on to the Sugi presentation. And let me put on some glasses here. Um, so Sugi is my baby and has been my baby for six years. Sugi is the core to what it is that pays for this race car, and that's my Coursera online education. I, because of Tsugi, I am the most prolific online course instructor for Coursera. I teach on edX and FutureLearn, and I have more specializations than anybody else, and it turns out that for me, that's easy because I have Tsugi. So what is Tsugi? Tsugi is a Learning Management System Integration Library written in PHP that handles LTI, LTI Advantage, Common Cartridge, even does a Google Classroom. It is a way to build applications very rapidly, and it is a way to build content and integrate it into other systems very rapidly. And so that's how I can build a course on campus, plug it into my campus LMS, then also plug it into Coursera. And I have built, you can see my tattoo, no, this tattoo, um, that I actually am part of building, the, I built some of the early code in Coursera to support LTI, Learning Tools Interoperability. And so, Sugi is not just used by me, it's used by other open source and commercial folks. Certe uses Sugi. Curriki is a K-12 curriculum sharing environment, they use Sugi. And School City is a commercial product that uses Sugi. And it really, for them, plays an essential role in LTI Advantage Interoperability. We were at the core of LTI Advantage Interoperability now I think two years ago where we were the only tool, the only major tool that was tested with all the LMSs for the five major LMSs when LTI was released. And so we accomplished that and that meant that Sugi was the one known thing to work with everyone's early LTI Advantage. It's also a learning object repository. My Python for Everybody class on Coursera is backed by a learning object repository that you can look at and see at www.pyfree.com. And it's a quick way to build apps. Most of the apps come from me or David Bauer of the University of Dayton. And you can go to www.sugicloud.org to get a, a sampling of the 20 or so applications that we have. So, at the beginning of last year, if you looked at my uh, update at that point, I thought, I've been trying Django, I tried a whole bunch of things, I gave up on Node, I gave up on Django, and I'm like, I'm going to write tools. And that was my plan. And so I thought, whoa, during the, the, the COVID pandemic, I should write a bunch of tools. And so I wrote like a cool document annotation system that allowed you to put annotations all over the place and move those annotations and comment on them. And it was really good from a privacy perspective. You used the Seek Editor to, in effect, write a short paper and then you scribbled on it with each other. And then there's a thing that you could put a PDF and put stickies on the PDF and move those stickies around and talk. And 
There's all this workflow and give the student a grade. The whole idea of, I'm going to build a lot of tools, that idea didn't pan out. I, I don't know if it was COVID or not, but then I moved on from that. Although I did build one tool sort of for my own self, and it's the threaded discussion tool. And those of you familiar with Sugi, we had a grade book, we had a content authoring system, and all the essence of an LMS, but except for a threaded discussion. And, uh, and a couple of months ago, I built a really nice threaded discussion. It's really scalable, it's really flexible, it has a really good data model. And so that means that Sugi has the potential going forward to become a small, self-hosted learning management system because it, that, that discussion was a critical last element to it. I've also um, built Postgres support. I have personally been concerned about the future of MySQL. I've used MySQL since the beginning of Sakai, which is 2002, 2003, and thought that was the future forever. But with Oracle and the complexities that Oracle are in MySQL 8, I'm just a little nervous about MySQL as my only database. And so I put some experimental support with Postgres. Hopefully this year I'll get some folks that will test it with me and maybe even run some production. I might run some small production with Postgres. So that really is the, what I did in the last 12 months. Um, I got a lot of help actually from David Bauer. Um, he just has always been filling in the gaps. And I'll talk about that in the project status. So it's a project that's six years old. It's still in incubation. It has one major contributor and that is me and the second major contributor is David Bauer of the University of Dayton and that's because at the University of Dayton they have figured out how to use it really well they use it as a learning management system for faculty training they use it as an app store for education where instructional designers build software um, they use it for integration in their Sakai they actually use Sugi better than I ever did I mean I really look to them because uh, <laughs> They actually have UI designers and graphic designers, and I don't. All my stuff looks like crude but effective. So, um, but the thing about Sugi with a low number of contributors, which is really me plus David, plus others who have put stuff in, it's not that bad, partly because Sugi doesn't have a large backlog of stuff that's needed. Sugi is a fine product. It's a solid product. It's not like we got bug after bug after bug. We find things or expand stuff and the fix comes in from somewhere and we put it in. So it's not like it depends on me 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I literally can leave Sugi alone for months and it's just fine because it's a solid mature product. Now one of the things that I'm concerned about with Sugi is a bus factor of one and that means that I, or a race car factor, right? If I don't wear my safety gear, hang on, let me show you some safety gear. This is a thing called a Hans. It's a head and neck support. Goes around your neck. And then head on collision, it keeps you from breaking your neck with your, uh, with your helmet. So, I'm in a very safe car. It's got a roll cage. So don't worry about a car factor of one, but I should worry about a car factor of one. So one thing I will assure you, given that we have a race car factor of one, is that uh, David Bauer and Anthony White have full access to all of the repositories that make up the uh, Tsugi suite of whatever it's all open source it's all there it could be forked but I also made sure that David and Anthony had full access to Sugi and so I doubt we're gonna if something happens to me it probably won't be in this car unless it's me backing out of the garage but I don't think that'll that'll harm me so so that's kind of like the current status and then going forward I have some exciting things I'm working on over the next year with some uh, new partners, um, hoping to do some partnering with uh, cur the Curriki.org project and uh, working on making the authoring environment something that's not just a JSON file. I'll, I, in my user experience, for me, using the VI editor in lessons.json is a great way to author a course because I can put it into GitHub. But I admit that I am not the typical person. I want to make it so you can plug into LTI with an LMS, go author a course, and then have that course work and affect what we have in Sakai as the lessons experience and I want to build that. Um, I want to make it so that you can pre-populate a course by a common cartridge import from a variety of learning management systems. So if you're using Sakai or using Canvas or Desire to Learn and you make an export of your course, I want to be able to import that into Sugi and have that be the base of an authorable course. And that begins to move Sugi more towards a learning object repository 
which is transferring courses between systems. So you, you build a course in an LMS, you pull it into SUGI, you tighten it up and clean it up and make it more usable, and now you can put it a whole bunch of other places, whether you put it in with learning tools interoperability, or you put that in with common cartridge. And I am going to put some more effort into the uh, threaded discussion and the gradebook because ultimately that means that SUGI can become its own standalone learning management system. And so in, in summary, the, the SUGI has been a great project. Uh, the future is very bright for SUGI. Uh, it's a very mature project and it's a, it's a very successful project and it's helping a lot of folks. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me personally or join, join the SUGI developer list and there's a bunch of great people on there as well.